He's singing a song as we go along, walking in a window in the land. Hug me, brother! Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Merry Christmas Drake and Josh. So Merry Christmas Drake and Josh is obviously a Christmas movie. It stars Drake Bell, Josh Peck, Bailey Madison, Miranda Cosgrove, Jonathan Goldstein, and many other cast members, including Henry Wrinkler, Nicole Vett Brown, Jerry Trainer. You pretty much have everyone back in this film. And this film is about when Drake dresses up as Santa Claus and his little girl tells Santa what she wants for Christmas and all she wants for Christmas is to have the best Christmas ever. Drake, not thinking straight, just goes, yeah, yeah, okay, I promise, but you know, not really meaning it. I until this little girl actually managed to find Drake and you know after this little girl tells Drake the story of how she lives in a foster home and that's where Josh gets involved and it also becomes a very hectic situation when Drake and Josh end up in court and Henry Wrinkler as the judge tells Drake and Josh that they have to either give the kids the best Christmas ever or if they don't give them the best Christmas ever, they're gonna get sent to jail. So before I review Merry Christmas Drake and Josh, my guest star, Adam Haskell, is going to be reviewing this movie. So Adam, take it away. Thank you so much, 22 Tiger Dude, for having me here to review Merry Christmas Drake and Josh. Now, I really like Drake and Josh. I really do like the show. I do think it's a very funny show. I really like the characters. I really enjoy it. It's one I used to watch a lot when I was younger, and I really do enjoy it. Now, this movie, I actually remember watching on its premiere night back in 2008. Um, can't believe it's been that long. It's crazy. And I always enjoyed it since. I really do think this is a very fun Christmas movie. I don't think it's a great Christmas movie, but... You know what? It's, what, it's what it sets out to be. It's just meant to be a fun Christmas movie. You can just sit back, relax, and enjoy. That's exactly what it is. It has a huge heart. The acting is really good from the cast. You know, Drake Bell and Josh Peck, they do a very good job in this movie. Bailey Madison is in this. She's really young in this movie. She does a very great job in this movie as well. Everyone in this movie, I think, gives really good performances. The humor in this movie is very funny. I think so a lot of it is very clever. I really enjoy it. It really stays true to the Drake and Josh type of humor. It really is the same kind of funny... I, I really like the humor, basically. So I'm trying to say. I really do like the humor. And this movie is just a very fun movie. It's just exactly what it set out, sets out to be. It's just a fun, enjoyable Christmas movie with a lot of heart. Um... And this is the last thing we've seen from Drake and Josh. And I honestly think it's a really great send-off. I do think it's a really great send-off. I really enjoyed this movie. Very fun movie. And honestly, I don't know about you guys, I feel like every time I watch this, I feel like this could have worked as a theatrical movie. Like, I really genuinely feel like this could have been a good theatrical movie. Like, it does feel kind of like one, honestly. I think it could have worked just fine as one, uh, but it's not. Anyway, guys... <laughs> Merry Christmas Drake and Josh, I really enjoy it. It's not great, some jokes do fall flat and stuff, and it's it's just like, it's just a very fun movie. I don't really have many problems with it, but it's not like a movie that's like amazing. I'm going to give Merry Christmas Drake and Josh a 3.5 out of 5. Very fun movie, really enjoy this one a lot. Anyway guys, thank you for watching my review for Merry Christmas Drake and Josh. Now, back to you 22 Tiger Dude. Thank you so much, Adam, for reviewing Merry Christmas, Drake and Josh. Merry Christmas, Drake and Josh is a film that I was so happy about because this film came out a year after the show Drake and Josh ended. And of course, it was sad when that show ended. So a year later, when a Christmas movie came out, it was so awesome because it was us getting to see these characters one last time, basically, because this, re this really was the last time we got to see all these characters so if we're gonna get a Christmas movie starring these characters from a beloved TV show which I consider one of the funniest TV shows of all time personally you know you want to try to go out with the bang and I have to say Merry Christmas Drake and Josh does not disappoint. It definitely lives up to its potential of delivering such a really sweet, really funny Christmas movie. It really is so great to see these guys back. Drake Bell, 
still felt like Drake and Josh Peck still felt like Josh, they never lost sight of their own characters and that's something they have to credit these guys. And the same thing does go to Miranda Cosgrove as Megan. Although Megan isn't really in this film all that much, it's still really great to see her. She's still staying in character. Same thing does go to Jerry Trainer as Crazy Steve, who has by far some of the funniest moments in this movie. Nicole Vett Brown back as Helen. Of course, any characters that you get to see in the TV show, they're back here. Even Mrs. Hafer made a cameo in this movie. And then, of course, the new additions like Bailey Madison, who is such an adorable little girl. She did such a really good job here. The same thing does go for the kids. I did think that this was actually a very funny movie. A lot of the humor really did hit for me. It felt like your Drake and Josh kind of humor, the kind of humor you would hear in the TV show. Kimbo Slice, not a huge role for him, but he was so dang funny. For every scene Kimbo Slice was in, he absolutely killed it. It was so great to see him in this movie. It's also an absolute delight to see Henry Winkler here as the judge. I thought he was very great for the small part, and he was actually quite funny for someone that portrayed the judge. I did think that this was actually a very well shot movie. This is a very good looking movie and this is a TV movie granted and I have to say it has really beautiful cinematography. There's actually a lot of shots in this film that really impressed me and this is a TV movie here you guys and I was actually very impressed with the cinematography and I have to say this is actually a very well directed movie. It is directed by someone named Michael Grossman. He actually did a very good job. Dan Snyder does write the script for this movie and of course Dan Snyder who knows Drake and Josh the best. If anyone's going to write the script, it has to be the creator, and he definitely does not disappoint with his writing. He did a very good job of making Drake and Josh and all the other characters from the TV show still feel like their own selves, and it's actually a very heartwarming movie. This is not only a movie that's very funny, this is not only a movie that puts a smile on my face, but it's also very, very heartwarming, especially when you get towards the end. I, I definitely say towards the end is where a lot of the heartwarming stuff really does come along. And honestly, as far as problems go, the only problems I could really say about this film is that, yes, sometimes the humor does really fall flat. The humor doesn't always land. It definitely does feel forced. Like, there's a scene where Drake and Josh, uh, they meet Officer Gilbert for the first time. This is when they meet each other for the first time and when he says that his name is Perry, Drake is like making the joke about his name and going petty petty like it was such an out of place scene. I don't know what the heck was up with that but most of the humor definitely does work. It's just that sometimes the humor doesn't always work. Now regarding Officer Gilbert, he was just your cartoony character that wanted to ruin people's lives. We've seen this kind of character dozens and dozens of times and he was so cliched and so generic here. The actor that portrays him definitely tries but uh, I just couldn't really care about the whole um, Officer Gilbert thing because he's trying to make Drake and Josh's lives miserable because he's pretty much the watchdog of Drake and Josh to make sure that he gives these foster kids the best Christmas ever. And he does have a little reason behind why he's like this, but I just really did not care for the character and any time he would show up, I'm just all like, oh, come on, just cut back to Drake and Josh trying to give these kids a very great Christmas because I really was not caring for this character until, of course, once we do get to, like, the final 20, 15 minutes of the movie. And speaking of why he hates Christmas, you do get to his backstory, and I'm not going to spoil anything, but... Once you learn why he hates Christmas, it's quite stupid because it's something that's happened to him since he was eight years old. He is a grown man and he's held a grudge that long. And the last problem I'll say for this film is that yes, when you get to the end of what's going to happen with Drake and Josh, 
you know what's gonna happen. It's really predictable. For a little while, I didn't really like the Luke character. He actually was kind of getting on my nerves because he was just playing that stereotypical, oh, I hate life kind of character. It took me a while to like him. Once he did loosen up and was doing something with the kids, that's when I started to like him. But honestly, you guys, although yes, this film does have its problems, that still does not take away from how much I do really enjoy this movie. I think Merry Christmas Drake and Josh is such a fun holiday film. It is a very special movie in my opinion. It's just so great to see these characters again. The movie's very well written. It's very well directed. It's very well shot. And I'll definitely say the ending of this movie, it's honestly the perfect way to not only just end this movie, but just end the Drake and Josh show in general. This was a satisfying way for us to see the characters one last time. Just the last couple of minutes of this film put a huge smile on my face. And considering they never had a Christmas episode in the TV series, it's nice that they made that up by making it a full length movie. So you guys, I'm gonna give Merry Christmas Drake and Josh three out of four stars. I think this is a very solid, good Christmas flick that definitely puts a smile on my face. And it's definitely just a wonderful film to watch around this time of the year. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think about Merry Christmas Drake and Josh. And I would also love to thank Adam Haskell for coming here to review Merry Christmas Drake and Josh. He's a very cool dude, you guys. He has a great channel. So if you guys wanna check out his channel, I will leave a link in the description down below. This this 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!